Teresa, are you in? Uh, here. Oh, cool. Sorry. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ms. Teresa. Happy Wednesday. It's our Friday. Don't rub that in those poor little four days' faces. Hang on. Hang on. It's hump day. It's hump day. <laughs> it is. Bye, bye, bye. I know, me too. Coffee. <laughs> I'm trying to find to prop my damn thing up against. My iPad is stacked on top of three board games and an exercise equipment. <laughs> That's, I'm fine. I don't know how well. Oh, you did it. There we go. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. I missed your faces yesterday. I missed your face. So, I mean, we're switching it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to go, go into more of a, a little bit more dexterity focus. So, something to keep our fingers, you know, moving in the hair. So today we're going to focus on, on two strand twists and Zulu knots. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to do some on scalp and some off scalp two strand twists. If you, you guys have, like, if y'all were one of the lucky ones that got some of those curly doll heads, you could totally do this on your curly doll because this is, these are techniques that are meant for curly and extra curly hair uh, to change curl pattern, to uh, like stretch out curl, I mean, to tame it, I guess. Uh, in a little bit different way. These are protective styles because you can change the curl pattern, but you know, not permanently. Um, so anyway, these also are great things for brand new little hairdressers to keep your, your finger muscles working and moving. So brand new little uh, hair. Y'all are, y'all are already hairdressers. We just gonna make it better. That's all. So yeah. So I'm working on a doll head that is basically straight hair. It has like a tiny little bit of wave to it. And if you guys are too, um, you can mist, like barely get it damp. Um, and it'll help with some hold. So I'm just going to take, so I've got four sections, the standard four. I did them off of them. I did the standard four sections, you know, center part in the back, but then on the front, I use like her natural, like her style part at the front, um, because this is a style that someone's going to wear, right? Probably for like, once you do, like say you do an on scalp twist, right? Two straight and twist. You might wear that for three to five days before you take the twists out and expand those curls because they've made that curl pattern much larger. So I did this off of a side part here with the finish in mind. I'm gonna start in my back panels and I'm just gonna mist down just to give it a little bit cause it's gonna give it some separation where like naturally curly hair will clump together and curl together. Straight hair doesn't really do that very much. Uh, so, and I'm not talking about like, she can't be dripping wet. This is like whenever y'all come over and you're like, look, I blow dried my doll. And then we touch it and it's like, mm, that's not good. It's that kind of wet. Okay. You know what you're, you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to take a, and I'm just going to use a regular wide toothish styling comb. This is the 416 red comb. Um, and I'm gonna take about a one inch, inch and a half section. I'm gonna do rectangle, rectangular subsections at the bottom. Put that up and out of my way. So this is gonna give me two, two strand twists. So this first subsection here that's horizontal across, I'm gonna take and split that in half. So save this guy for later. You can start center, you can start on the outside. I'm gonna start on the outside 
Okay, so can you guys see that? Is it close enough? Can I get it closer? Ah, there we go. How about that? All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to split this in half. And then I'm going to give it a little twist around to get those kind of clumping together. And then I'm going to cross them over. And then I'm going to twist in. And then I'm going to cross over. And then my fingers twist out. And then I cross over. My fingers twist in, cross over, twist out. Does that make sense? So you're going to work that all the way down. One in, cross, out, cross, in, cross. And I work my way down the hair strand. And with it a little bit damp, you'll be able to keep that separation and you'll be able to see. So a naturally curly hair, you're not going to need it. Like you'll need product, but not to get it wet. It's also going to stay much better on naturally curly hair. RD, you're fine. No, come on. You're fine. Girl. So I'm going to work all the way down to the end of the hair. Oops. And then as I drop it, you'll see it start to untwist a little bit on your doll heads because they're straight, but that's okay. On curly hair, it would stay and it would like stick together. And then we're gonna just move to the next one. So two strand twists are pretty simple, but what they do is they get your fingers to move. So I'm gonna move her a little bit further away so you guys can see it kind of going all the way down. So you can split this top to bottom, or you can split it left and right. And generally speaking, curly hair is gonna tell you where it wants to part. You're not gonna tell it, right? You'll be able to pick your subsections and stuff, but you'll see that where it's gonna curl together is where it's gonna curl together. So twist, out, flip, in, flip, out, in flip. So the reason why I'm alternating twist out, twist in is because as you flip these strands of hair, the way that it's going changes, right? So you're just keeping them. And I have to like tell myself, twist in, twist out, twist in. So you're literally just making, a, like it just twists together all the way down, right? Is it okay if it comes unraveled a little bit? Yeah, because you're working on straight hair, it's absolutely going to come unraveled. And even in curly hair, it's going to unravel a little bit, certainly. So, I mean, what this does, so if somebody's got really compact, kinky, curly, sits close to the scalp hair, what this does is it helps to stretch that curl pattern out without applying any kind of heat, mm -hmm. without applying any kind of chemical. Um, I mean, and in hair that's like super, super like resistant to change, where it's like extra curly and it's just that super strong curl pattern, a lot of times you'll take um, like the clips that you put rollers on with, the metal single prong clips, and you'll clip it at the bottom of the hair so it has weight and it like weighs it down. Okay. So that, you guys feel good about two strand twists off scalp? So the assignment, we're gonna do two heads of two strand twists two ways. So you're gonna do a full head of two strand twists, just like I showed you. You can do this on your doll, you can do it on yourself. You're gonna find a picture and recreate it, right? Um, I don't know, you can do it on your kid if you could get them to sit still, either way. Now, then we're also gonna do, okay, well, I mean, if they've got a lot of hair, you can do it. Maybe, I mean, they might be looking like Coolio from 1990, but. <laughs> That's cool. Do you guys remember the Oh, oh, fantastic, yes, exactly. Those are, 
totally. I don't know if those were two strand twists or if they were little braids, but either way, same concept. All right, so we're gonna do a full head of those guys. And then we're also gonna do a full head of um, on scalp two strand twists. So I'm gonna move over here to this panel and demonstrate those after I get this one back out of my way. So this is a style. So you would absolutely pick product that was for your guests, for your guest hair type, probably something like you want like a leave-in conditioner of some sort. You're gonna want some sort of like on extra curly hair, you're gonna want some sort of an oil. Um, and then you want something with a little bit of hold, but something that's not gonna get flaky later. So this is gonna be a lot like cornrows the on scalp two strand twists because they do they lay on the scalp like a french braid or a dutch braid does something to uh, just remember is if this you another are braiding hair, for, the... for the what for a rope was that braid? lazy yes yeah is that another word for rope braid yeah it is yeah, so we're going to take about a, I'm going to do about a one inch section. Get my fingers working this morning. That's a little wide on the bottom there. And then I'm going to clip what I don't want to pick up in my braid. I'm going to clip it out of my way, just like if I was making cornrows. Get you up out of my way. Nice, neat section here, right? The neater your section, the neater your on scalp braids will be, just kind of so you guys know. So if you have a really nice, clean line on either side of your part. Um, so I, I gotta raise, I gotta lower my doll head a little bit so I can reach. I'm gonna see if I can tilt you guys a little. So hopefully y'all can see. Here, let me tilt her back. Yeah, okay, cool. So, we're literally gonna start at the top. And just like we were whenever we were doing the, the free hanging off scalp two strand twist, we're gonna pick up a section of hair, it's about an inch. And I'm gonna split this in half and I'm gonna twist. I'm just gonna lay it over, make an X, right? And then to the underside, like whatever piece went underneath, I'm gonna add hair to that. And then I'm gonna flip it over. So whichever one lands on the bottom is the one where you're gonna add hair to it. And then flip that over. So it starts to look like rope and it's laying on the scalp. So the tighter that you want, like if you want these tighter, keep your knuckles closer to the scalp. The closer you can keep like your, your braid, if you're pulling it up in a way, you're gonna end up with a loose kind of off scalp braid. I don't know if you can see how far that is away from the scalp, but I can tighten that down by keeping my fingers touching the scalp here as I'm holding and adding hair. Add to the bottom side and flip it over. And you're gonna continue that all the way down. Yep, all the way down to the hairline. So then once you get to the hairline, you can either anchor it with a rubber band, which I would recommend. Um, you could switch to a three strand braid, so that way it stays. Um, if this was somebody with curly hair, it, you could absolutely keep going with your two strand twist and it will stay. Um, but since Dolly Baby here, is not quite curly. Right. So I can get here to my hairline and I can just anchor her with a rubber band so she doesn't untwist on me. So this is a neat alternative too for like upstyles and special occasion stuff. Whenever you're like, I don't have time to do this whole braid thing. Um, 
but I want something that looks like a braid. Cause you can take a two strand twist, just like you do a braid and you can fluff it out. You know how like you, like you, like you're holding cards in your hand. You know how you like open up cards to look at them if you're playing poker, right? So you, um, it's that motion, almost like a snap, but gentle. You can use that same motion on the hair to open up a two strand twist to make it look like a braid. Um, so they're quick and easy to incorporate. They look really cool horizontal in the front. So like going back away from the face. Yeah. So, so we have two strand twist -esses. So you're going to do a full head of on scalp with the one inch sections, which is probably going to be, I would do two, three, four, five, six, you're probably going to end up with 12 total of the on scalp ones. And now the free hanging ones, it's going to be a little bit more than that. But so you can see the ones that I just started with because her hair is straight. See how much they've uncurled. This was the first one I did and see how it's like, it's because she's not curly. So obviously when we're looking at your work, when you're working on these straight doll heads, I, we get it. It's going to uncurl, but what we're also looking at is these sections. Are they neat, right? Can I see that you twisted the hair together? You know, you can add a little bit of product if you've got some product, something light, just for some hold. You can certainly do that um, on your doll head to give you a little bit more definition. I mean, you could turn this into a really cool little updo. I don't know, might be awesome. So yeah, so this morning's assignment is a full head of on scalp two strand twists and a full head of off scalp two strand twists. Sweet. Okay. So do what Teresa's telling you and not what it actually says in the assignment. <laughs> oh, what does it say? So I like Teresa's a lot better. Um, it's you'll get. <laughs> we'll go in and change the assignment then, Rachel. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit it. <laughs> I, I already did it the way you had done it, Rachel. Sorry. It's okay. Um, but still do the product, um, the product part that I have in there um, with the products. Um, that we talked about on the call. Okay. All right. Abdiel, do you still have my curly Sue? I don't think she heard you. Um. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use it. <laughs> really? <laughs> but she was really pretty, ready to be given back. Well, thank you. <laughs> Are we gonna have a poll question? No, that's just for. Am I? Am I not muted? Right. No, that's just for the um, three, like the morning, afternoon, and evening call. Can we have one? Can you have one? Let's see if I've got any left right now. I, can we have one? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you guys are feeling like I have one left. And comfortable in your two strand twisting, Yay. Ooh, what do we have? Save for last? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, like, because I don't want to eat it. Is that why I'm saving it for last? I don't know. I don't make these up. I just find them and post them. <laughs> oh, or like save it for last because like you save the best for last. And yeah, maybe it's the best, that's, maybe it's the worst. The I mean, only thing I like out of these is oatmeal. Yeah, that's the same, Cindy. Yeah, me too. Oatmeal is okay. A lot of these are perishables, people. That's the answer. Jesus oh. Christ. Yeah, maybe you save it because it would last the longest. I don't know. Oh. Okay. A lot of them are what, Abdiel? Perishables. They go bad. Perishable. Yes, this is true. The only thing that would like, okay, if it's canned green beans, you got a year and a half on those. Mm. Uh, oatmeal, you got about a year. Well, no, you can, if you freeze oatmeal, it'll last like five years. Hmm. The bologna and the grapefruit, not so much. Your grapefruit's gone first. Yeah, the bologna, picture moldy bologna. No, you fry bologna. You don't let it get to the moldy part. <laughs> I wonder if you could, like, like, dry out bologna, make it like pepperoni bologna. 
Um, well, as much salt and junk as they put into like like lunch meats of any kind, I could yeah, I could see you putting it on like a and making it into like bologna jerky. <laughs> yeah. It'd probably be like powdery and weird by the time it was over with though, so. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. All right. Well, if you guys are feeling good, y'all are free to go get to twisting. Um, What's the sectioning? Sorry. I like. You're fine. So I started with uh, four panels, just like for demonstration. It's probably mm -hmm. easiest to start with four off of a natural part. Mm -hmm. um, and then I took a one inch subsection here at the bottom, about a cult mm -hmm. width right here. Mm -hmm. And then I split that into two. So I'm making about one inch squares on the scalp. So I just split it in half and then do it around the head. Yup. So, so what we basically did the last time, like when we were in the building or whatever? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where we did the panels, but we just, we're gonna do a full head of them. Okay. Yeah, get your fingers moving. Your little muscles working. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll see you guys after lunch. Up. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Bye guys. Miss, oops, Miss Teresa. Yo. Okay, so on the two strand, um, the first one, is mm -hmm. it going to be like on the? Like on the base, is it gonna like kind of stick out? Like, yeah, it will. It'll it'll stick. It depends on how which way your fingers are pulling. So if you're pulling your fingers down, it's gonna lay down a little bit. If you're pulling your like, fingers out, like at a ninety. The, yeah, it'll it'll hair? kind of sit up and off. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you were doing this on somebody with curly hair, just like I was telling you about taking the um, single prong clip and weighing down the end you will also take a single prong clip and lay it on the scalp so that way it lays flat. Okay. I mean, if you didn't want to have volume. All right. Thank you. Well. You, Teresa, for the on the scalp, you want them to do one inch sections. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so. So it's a one inch, yeah, and then the, off scalp is the same. They're about one inch squares. Okay. Cool. Oh, I didn't talk about the pictures. I should have talked about the before and the date and all that. I got them. <laughs> okay. My bad. Hey, Marissa. Marissa, did you need help? All right. Bye, Marissa. I'm going to take you out. See ya. Brianna, did you just join? Yes, I so missed it. All right, we're doing two strand twists, okay? Okay. So we're doing a full head of off scalp free hanging like this one. Uh huh. Two strands. And then we're going to, so these are about an inch sections and in squares all over the head. Okay. And then the second head is going to be on scalp, like the rope braids that lay like cornrows, and those are going to be also in one inch sections. Okay, so I do it on two separate doll heads, right? Or you do it on one doll head and take it down and then do it. Again, okay. but yeah, two separate ones is fine. Absolutely. Or you can do it on your own self. I mean, do it on your kids if they'll sit still, whatever. And then um question. For for the okay, for the assignment, how it's talking about the product that we're gonna be using on um this hairstyle. So I could just I'm gonna use it both times, right? For the 
for the braid and for the twist, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So something light hold. Generally, you want some sort of a leave-in because these are built for extra curly hair to stretch them out, right? So you generally want something with a leave-in conditioner, some sort of an oil, and something with a really light hold that's going to last, like preferably a week or two, because if you wear your hair in the twists for three or four days, and then you take the twists out, right, and you expand those curls, that product's got to go like all the way for that. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. If you're feeling good about it, you can go. Cool. All right.